now on EA Sports from the magnificent Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. We're in the first quarter of action, and it's the Jets who are in control of the football. on first down looking middle and it's incomplete Keelan Cole the intended target but it's going to be second down from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail second and ten now from the 27 Throwing is Wilson. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Wilson. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. Now Wilson. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a jet shaking up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Cordero Patterson deep for Atlanta. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Ready. 
They begin with a run by Davis. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, Ryan. He's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Now it's Ryan. That's to the speedster Olamide Zacchaeus. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. So, Charles, defensively here, you're going up against a veteran quarterback. He's got a lot of know-how, a ton of savvy, but a guy who's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. What's the plan of attack? You spend all week pumping up your defensive front. Your defensive tackles, your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys who go after the quarterback the most because you know that he's not going to run and beat you consistently throughout the game. You can rush more aggressively off the edge and even up the middle because even if he evades you, he's not going to go very far. You have a lot more confidence going after him in the pocket. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Ryan now handing to Davis on the draw. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets him to about the 44. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Ryan going to give this to Davis. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. And that's a good substantial run there for Mike Davis. And how about his career resurgence? Because he's bounced around a bit in the NFL. From San Francisco to Seattle to Chicago to Carolina. And now here with the Atlanta Falcons. Always dependable, Mike Davis. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Ryan. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver, and it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Davis running left. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. To throw is Ryan. 
Got this complete to the tight end Pitts. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught it, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Davis. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on Ford. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. They keep it with Davis on first down. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a handoff to Davis. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides. Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, this is the National Football League. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Miami Dolphins. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The Dolphins ready to go to work on offense, led by their second-year quarterback out of Alabama. It's Tua Tungavailoa. To absolutely no one's surprise, the Dolphins did invest a high first-round pick, number five overall to draft Tua in 2020. And I think that most people would say that his rookie year had plenty of positives, but it was sprinkled with a few negatives as well. Remember, he controversially took over for Ryan Fitzpatrick during the open week prior to week eight. Miami did go six and three in his starts from that time, but he had to get rescued a few times in games by Fitzmagic. And in his own words, he called his rookie year below average. I don't think the franchise believes that, but they're looking forward to seeing him improve. 
But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. So Tua making the completion there. You know, what's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part that you asked about being left-handed. We've got to find out if he can move to his right and still continue to be accurate. So I want to push him in that direction and see if he can get his body squared around and make those throws that he's used to making. The next part is he's a dart thrower. Loves those short to intermediate routes first. Sit on those and make him throw the deep ball. Not that he's not capable, but you want him to prove it to you first. A gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A nice substantial run there by Gaskin, who was the Dolphins' leading rusher in 2020. 584 total yards and just seven starts. and got stronger as the season went on. Not bad for a seventh-round pick in 2019. He was drafted number 234 overall that season. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki. That'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Quickly into the hands of Fuller. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 17-yard line. Two and a Fuller for a Miami first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down.
today. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Just about set for football. Cody Parkey to do the honors. And off we go from First Energy Stadium. From his end zone, it's Corey Ballantyne. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Jets about set to go here on the offensive side for the first time. And leading him out, Charles, the number two overall pick in this April's draft. It's Zach Wilson out of BYU. During the draft process, it was pretty clear early that Jacksonville was locked in on Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback at Clemson. That allowed the Jets to really peruse the rest of the quarterback crop. And they settled in on Zach Wilson from BYU. Loved his game, ability to throw from the pocket, the off-platform throws, getting outside of the pocket and making plays. He's their guy, and they expect him to be that guy for at least the next 10 years. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window. For him to fit that one into, in this case, unsuccessfully. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. Now Wilson dumping it off for Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a, a different long story. night. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive, pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's
gets up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. To the air Wilson after the pick six he finds Corey Davis and they're able to get this one across the 35 a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down and in Corey Davis is four years with Tennessee he had his moments but his best year was last year finished 16 yards shy of a thousand yard season and really started to look the part of a number one receiver he will really help Zach Wilson in his rookie year with the Jets They'll run with Coleman on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. This will be a jet sweep to Crowder. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, it's Coleman. Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. 
And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Quarterback Matthew Stafford bringing out the L.A. offense. And Stafford, of course, all those years in Detroit. And now it is first season with Los Angeles. And what big news it was back in January when news leaked out that Matthew Stafford was leaving Detroit and heading out west to join the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are hoping he's the missing piece to the puzzle as they seek a Super Bowl title. Over 45,000 yards passing as a Lion, but not a single playoff victory in his entire tenure. The Rams general manager has said he can envision Stafford staying five to eight years which would take him into his 40s. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And his first pass is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and 10. Now Stafford will get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. And a good grab there by Cooper Cup. Picks up a first down for the Rams. And Cup's gone over the 90 reception mark each of the last two years. One of the best route runners, one of the most precise route runners in the NFL. He's really going to help his new quarterback, Matthew Stafford. First and 10, Stafford throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby, and that'll bring up second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's second and 10. Stafford looks to throw again. one to Henderson it's caught and he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line that one a gain of 20 and a first down and forget about the run to set up the pass they're just coming out throwing forget trying to set anything up they feel like they have the advantage they feel like they have the matchups and they're just attacking right now yep going to the air on the opening drive So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. 